In today's video, we're going to take a look at a setup in analog devices. This is a daily chart of ADI, and this one was uh, requested in the breakout session Monday. We saw that there was a nice general pattern of higher highs and higher lows. We saw that there was some symmetry with some of these prior declines, and also we overlapped a 618 retracement of a prior swing. What I also liked about this one was that we were above the 200 simple and above the 50 and the 5 EMA was above the 13 so that was also in a buy mode. So as long as we continue to hold above this zone that comes in between 79.11 to 80.29 I do want to look at taking buy triggers and looking for the initial upside target off of this most recent low at the 86.56 area and then if we can head towards the second target that would come in at 88.32. Now again there's still a lot of people that don't understand triggers. Triggers are just essentially you know the price action that suggests that it's worth placing a bet against a particular zone rather than just buying against the zone and hoping that it holds. So here for example is a 15 minute chart. Here you can see that um, well this is where we ended up testing the support recently. As far as the triggers concerned, it was when we had both the 834 EMA crossover on the 15 minute chart and in that process we took out a prior swing high. We took out a prior swing high here. We also took out another key prior swing high here. So bottom line, looking at this one on the buy side, as long as it continues to hold above that key price support cluster, Otherwise, I consider myself wrong this trade if we break underneath the 7911 area.